Welcome everyone, my name is Phantom, so when I'm making this video, I've just woken up and I have a cold, so I probably sound like an absolute frog. So I am so happy to bring you new Treyarch Zombies, information, teasers, storylines, stuff like that, right? So we haven't had new stuff since, since the first comic came out, so I don't really remember when that is. Or maybe you could say it was when Jason did the live stream where he said new stuff is coming to zombies, however, however, this is like proper stuff, right? So, you know about the comics, the Call of Duty zombie comics, which focus on the transit crew, and it's a bit weird because we thought the transit crew died, so this could be Blundell saying that, hey, in the future, we're opening it up for the transit crew to come back. So I can't find the exact image, but in the first comic, at the end of the comic, with no context, there was a new loading screen for the map Nuketown, not the multiplayer map, well it is, but the zombies version, right, because the uh, loading screen for Nuketown zombies was really confusing and it was never sort of answered, so Jason changed it up, he had a new one, just a new loading screen in the comic, which is a bit weird, and it didn't give us too much more information, but now, We've got a very exciting one, and it's the loading screen, a new loading screen for the map I'm playing in the background, Ascension. So I took this off of Reddit, so it has Mr. Dalek JD's like watermarks and everything, and the YouTube HUD, I guess, but it doesn't matter. So on the left, you can see Dr. Monty writing blueprints, and then in the middle, you can see the Ascension rockets, which were always there, and then. You can also see underneath that blueprints of the dragon, maybe that's what Dr. Monty was writing, I don't know. Then you can see some gobblegums with a face, and that's not any normal face, that's Samantha Maxis. But here's the thing, we know Samantha and Dr. Monty were together at the house, the house in Revelations, in Agatha, right? But this is all about Ascension, so... Was Samantha at the Ascension facility? I don't know. And then, on the side, you can see what was always there, but now it's been shown to us clearer, and that figure is actually a Keeper, so... Or, which is also the Vril Yaf from Black Ops 1, so... I mean... Why is Jason doing this? Why is he changing up loading screens from old maps in the comics? Is it... Are these maps he's going to be remaking in Black Ops 3? Are we going to be getting a Nuketown and an Ascension remake? Uh, well, I don't know. I don't think that's enough information to just go off of. But, I don't know. It's really interesting. It really is, and I don't understand it. Because, that's the other thing. Nuketown and Ascension are so... They're so different, and they don't really link any way in the storyline, as far as I can remember. So, this is just really odd. So, if... That's about it, that's all I have for you, is just Jason doing Jason-y things, changing up the future of zombies, which is really interesting. So, if you did enjoy and if you hadn't seen this before, leave a like, comment what you think below, and uh, thanks for watching. Remember, I sound like an absolute groggo frog, because, because I'm dead, dead inside. Yeah, that, that's about it, yeah.